Yo yo yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a new episode of The Ring Cleanser. In this new episode, we are not visiting Python Muay Thai, not Venom Muay Thai, we visit Cobra Muay Thai. It's a new gym, it's close to the Shalong Circle on the way to Qatar. The coach, Kiata Dibzak, was in his best times called King of the Ring. He has over 303 fights, 20 times world champion, Lumpina champion, Raja Dharman champion, and something like WMC champion. I don't know what it is, I saw it on the webpage. <laughs> But I'm really excited to check this gym out. So come with us, guys. Boom! Let's get it done. Ring fluenza, get the job done. By Senat Gashi. Also, guys, today we have a friend of us here. He's from Russia. His name is Alexander the Great. He's a boxer. Let's see what he say to the Muay Thai experience. King of the soil, meeting point, Tiger Muay Thai, 10.30, we have already 10.38, he's still not here. What's wrong with the Russians nowadays? So guys, bad news, Alex is fucked, he's too late, we're going out to the gym and he's going to join us there. Also one other side information, behind me you have the crypto cup. it's a place you can buy their crypto, you can sit around, they have beautiful coffee and a good exchange rate. This is not advertisement, I just do it because it's a nice place, really. Now I'm driving to a dangerous police circle, today I don't have a helmet on, they are waiting there. It's gonna be here. Just made it, Cobra Muay Thai, here we are. If you see the way up here to this place, yeah, you understand why it's called Cobra Mutai because the streets are like a snake. Cobra Mutai. We teach Thai boxing for all levels. All levels? Welcome to Cobra Muay Thai. My name is Payat, the best in Europe 1988. I beat world champion for Manchester. I find many, many times in Europe. We have many different trainers. Me, the most polite and another trainer. We have four trainers. So guys, from the first side, the gym looks awesome. It's in a hotel reservoir. The access is a little bit strange, but if you come inside, it's uh, it's open. You have a crazy ring. You have a lot of different bags and also some weights. And cardio machines are all there. This gym is just insane. It's everything in one room. I love it. And also very important, they have not a gym dog, they have a gym cat. She's so cute. I love her. It's done very modern, very cool. And next to it also, they have a bolding hole. It's very good for the strength and for the grip. It gives you some extra power. But looks like they're still building. It's really amazing. They also have a second floor with some uh, machines, with some weights, with some different uh, cardio machines. Also they have your bike and also they have your nice balcony from the second floor where you can see straight to the training hall and see how the people are training. I love it. And on the other side, you can see the hotel reservoir with a great pool, great view, fresh air, and very close to the Big Buddha. How are you? How are you good, coach? Senat, are you here one of the coaches? Yeah, you're from? Albania. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, Thailand? Thailand. What is the best weapon? Hands or the legs? Perfect. I take the knife. Also, guys, one thing what I love about Thailand is you have your like two kind of coaches. Some who don't speak uh, English at all, just two or three phrases. How are you? Where are you from? And if you answer them, they even don't know mostly. Or some who speak really good and they won't stop talking. They're gonna annoy you all the time. I like the second one. What's your coolest? They have your like own bar where you can sit, order drinks and uh, watch how the others are training hard. I like it. One Jack Daniels, please. Take away. Okay, guys, now it's time to get changed. Let's get it on. The most important is for safety, your hand, not to wrap your hand, you know, how to wrap with the bandaid to protect your knuckle. To protect the knuckles? Yeah. It's my first time, be soft on me, yeah? Need for your wrist, your finger. Oh. The hands are wrapped, 
And now um, we're waiting for Jotot. He also gonna come, he gonna join us, perhaps or perhaps not. Alex also didn't do it. Today is a strange day, so it's gonna be sick. During the coaches away, I do my own stretch up. Therefore, I go on the ring, stretch the legs, leg by leg, from different positions, and then I stretch my arms. Also, one other exercise, if you want to get muscularly really proper warm, you take two dumbbells and do like a tapata of two rounds. 20 seconds you do arms, 20 seconds you do shoulders, 20 seconds you do legs, 20 seconds you do anything else, yeah? like six exercises, independent on your body. Huh? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Also in Muay one thing guys, every coach has a different style, some like to work very tight, some very open, so the variations are every time different, but I like it, it's nice. Forward, up, you don't move, okay? One, two, up, you can move. Poo, poo, poo. Yeah, okay. Poo, 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 poo. It means straight punch you you your forearm. You turn your wrist, hit with narco before you hit. You do left right box, you right left box, and hook to be the forearm parallel from the four left hook. And use uppercut, do it on body. Even uppercut, do it on body at the same time. Up, 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 up. up. Anyway, you do left right box, you right left box. Also, what the coach all the time says to punch first with the knuckles. Like this, you have a very detailed full point, and like this, you can stab somebody with the knuckles. Looks like after one round of shadow boxing, we go straight to the pads. I have to wear my gloves, but I, I would like to do my own warm up a little bit more to extend it because, you guys, you know, in Thailand, it can be a big mistake. It's all time hot, you're sweating, but you're not really warm. So the muscle need to be like very get warmed. I start from the head, go to the shoulders, go to the belly, go to the ass, to the legs, to the calves, till to my small toes. I know it's boring guys, but trust me, warm up is the most important thing. If you think it costs too much time, when you rupture your biceps or your hamstrings, you're six months off. Also very cool uh, when the coach joins and show you some new exercises. So like this, you get some new ideas. Yes, lie now, we can Hard, hard work. Me will be like a, your opponent, like his opponent. I did a jet for punch because he want to learn really boxing. I did for protect like a uppercut or hook in the body. Yeah. And if Thai boxing like a for knees, for front kick. Oh, yeah. One, two. Parallel from the four. Yeah, the double. More strong. Yeah. Oh, oh. Step. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. One, two. Oh. Good. Make you strong. Okay. And that burn, you see. Not for your style. You know, your style always I did. For me, make oh, that burn. Okay. So to lock it, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. We're strong. We're strong. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the first round of the coach. I have to adapt to his style. I like it. Uh, it's a bit uncomfortable with the big pets. He show you nice details. This is why I love when Thai speak good English, so I can show you details like him. I love it. Okay, now we train like a no man boxer before South Pond, right? Yeah. And now make a guard, no man. Two, one, two, oh, 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 block, but the block. One, two, three. Different. You say what different? No. Okay. Up. Why be strong now? Let move. Wow. Why be strong now? Let move. It's true. <laughs> Move. In your lobe, you know, the youth left hook away in this style, you know. For me, I make another style, but more double. You see, up for arm parallel with the four. Move body. You see, youth over the up the same time. And the forearm to be parallel from the four. And in your lobe, they say that it hook away that it. You see, and me, I make boom, double. Yeah, and straight punch. Hook, straight punch. Uppercut. Oh, oh, yeah. 
also what's cool is, um, you know, for this style, with the, in the second round, we change the stance, we go to orthodox, the coach wanted, and again, we work on the left hook. And especially for him, it's like with the knuckles. He likes to work with the knuckles. I can tell you, it's very nice, but for this, yeah, you need to, your hands need to be properly wrapped on the wrist, otherwise you really can break something. And you need to be a proper arm, yeah? I enjoy it, I love it. And the good thing is here, only thing what you need is a little bit of water. Here is no AC, but they have a lot of fans. And I think I also have a new fan. F, up, boom, boom, yeah. Up, boom, boom, yeah. One, boom. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> what is so? Yeah. Very, very strong. Always oh, he hit with the narco. And also he don't know how to turn keep the leash. Remember to turn before he hit. It's a good technique of boxing. Because someone did turn before, turn leash before, it, it long. Yeah. You know, before he hit only you turn. Yeah, yeah. good. Because, because you hit your opponent and you turn. Yeah. I love to work with this guy, passionate. Also the king of the ring, Jot Hot by himself is here. He's sitting there and we're gonna go to him to greet him. Coach, one second, yeah? If you wouldn't know that he's one of the best Muay Thai fighters in history, you would think he's just a worker here who cleans. Hello, Mr. Jot Hot. So how are you doing, good? We are recording a little bit for YouTube. Yeah. Can you tell something about yourself? My name is Jot Hot, yeah, this is, yeah, we're fighting Everywhere in the world, I'm 40 time world champion and Lumpini champion, Rajadhanam champion. champion, WMC champion, <laughs> WMC T time champion. Nice. How yeah. many fights? Three, five, four. Okay. 354, yeah. The internet is written only 303, you need to update. Yeah. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let me tell you something, guys. Yeah? From far, you look like a nobody. When you was next to him, you could feel the danger. You know, with one elbow, he would crack your head and make a new coconut out of it. What is the most important thing to become a champion? For the champion, you mean it is a skillful fighter, right? Yeah. Not a beginner. You must train hard and more experienced, you know, to be the champion. You must learn about his opponent also. Yeah. The most important is experience. I have many, many fights in Thailand. Sometimes two, three fights per week, you know. In which country you had the strongest uh, opponent? Ah, uh, French. French very really good fighter. Yeah, but before in Holland. Yeah, but now with French because he, he learned Thai boxing when he was young, and he always stay in Thai boxing gym in Bang, in Phuket or Bangkok or in Thailand. You know, everywhere in Thailand. They live here. French people live here and learn Thai boxing with the Thai people and like a local people. <laughs> and you move body, but you move only. You don't hit. Yeah, only move up and then up. Yeah. It's a pleasure. During I was training, your thought was watching and he gives me this face like, I like it. What is your favorite combination in boxing? Me? Yeah. Okay. Like a... You, you, yeah, I did one line, my opponent. Okay, I come, put end down and boom. Straight punch. Make it down. And for me, I am really strong. With fit, it means straight punch and left hook. Okay, go boom and left hook away. And sometimes with left hook, go up, step in. Okay, step in. Up! Yeah. And maybe straight up, punch. Yeah. We just finished the pets and I asked Coach Jothot, he just came here, can you do some technique? And he ran away like his pissed child, yeah? But you know what he did? He just ran away to get changed. Now he came back without a warm up and now he wants to present us some technique. And this guy is still fucking shaved. He's over 60 years old. Wow. Thank you very much, champion. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Cup and cup. How old are you? 52. 52. Oh, sorry, he's 52 years old. 
and he's still in awesome shape. It's crazy. I fought with him before, 35 years ago, but I lost. Oh, fuck. Yeah. He's still oh. young, you know. <laughs> this is insane, guys. This is insane. I love it. And also, a good thing is here the coach helped to take the wraps off, not just on. Now we're gonna make a last cool down. Yeah, we go in the ring and do a few exercises of stretching. Last but not least, guys, I'm gonna show one exercise how you can increase your taking punch ability to not get knocked down. So, therefore, you go in the ring and you just make rolls. Like, you can start with first a bit 20. After that, you do shadow boxing and try to keep the balance. This is like imitating when you get a full punch. It's very nice and it's very good for the legs and for the brain. Just don't do too much, otherwise, you're gonna vomit. And during we are doing here our cool down, some other people are enjoying their PT. And here, guys, I tell you, it's an awesome view. You see here the sea, the trees, the palms. Love it. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope you enjoyed the gym. Many here around, take a look. It's very lovely. It's a little bit hidden. But I think everybody who drove from Ravai or Shalong away, he saw this gym. So it's, oh, it's a visit world. It's crazy.